talk about the Ebola outbreak in Uganda right because with everything that we do we need to exercise critical thinking we need to connect the dots and most definitely ask questions now we have our credible source the BBC News online date the 16th of October 2022 Ebola in Uganda three-week lockdown announced for two districts now you all need to pay keen attention to what is going on with regards to this Ebola outbreak and Ebola lockdown because it was just a couple of months ago we were all in COVID lockdown and awaiting a vaccine. Now we see where the same is happening in Uganda where it is reported by new scientists that um, Uganda introduces its Ebola lockdown while it waits for a vaccine as reported by new scientists so they are waiting for a vaccine for that particular strain that is affecting uganda now please go look up the relevant articles pertaining to the ebola outbreak in uganda understand the similarities use critical thinking and connect the dots right so it is not just about the man-made famine it's not just about the energy crisis it's not about the impending world war three or nuclear war right we have to be thinking about a possible lockdown again and this is not to be taken lightly right because if we go into a lockdown this winter a whole lot of us could die because the world is running short on resources and this one is this so-called Ebola virus is mighty convenient people understand the times that we're living in the wicked cruel times that we're living in and please get your house in order and understand that we wrestle not with flesh and blood but with wickedness in high places we need to seek the face of the Most High while we can. And don't believe that because this is happening in Africa, it cannot happen in Europe, it cannot happen in America, it cannot happen in Australia. Remember where they told us COVID came from. And many of us probably think it wouldn't have come to our shores. Right? People, get your house in order something big is coming and we need to be prepared for it we need to seek the face of the most high while we can let us pray and say glory be to the most high